Cabo Puma is the perfect example of what nature would be like if we knew how to really take care of it. The mission that we have now with the Umbra is to tag several different species of sharks. We're deploying acoustic coded tags. As soon as a shark approaches a receiver, we know that how long the shark has been here, how long it went somewhere else and came back. It's funny because everybody's like, oh, you work with sharks, that's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, it's totally cool, but what you need to understand is sometimes you don't see anything. Tagging sharks can often be extremely difficult. What we were lucky to find was a whale shark that was about the perfect size for us to tag. We found the perfect shark, it was feeding, it was at the surface for a few minutes. I got very close to it, I shot, and it was perfect. The Sea of Cortez is a well-known aggregation site for whale sharks, but we've just got no idea where they go after they leave here. Unless we can protect those migration corridors, individual locations are not going to mean much. So now that we have a tag attached to that whale shark, it becomes an ambassador for whale sharks globally. We are getting to know why the sharks are here. We want to give the Mexican government all the tools that they need to protect these specific places. It's not just about having one nice spot. You learn that everything, absolutely everything, is connected. When you see this huge ball of uh, maybe a thousand jacks in front of you, it means that we are doing the things correctly in our country. My family has been here for more than 110 years. This part of the ocean, I feel in my heart. It's like a part of my body. Without this, I don't know what I'm going to do. 500 million people depend on protein in the ocean for their livelihoods. We have to get people to understand that they are in some sense connected to the ocean no matter where they are. <laughs>